Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm doing a little bit of a vlog because I'm off to get hair extensions, which I'm so excited about. Um, I used to have, or I used to get taping extensions a couple years ago now, um, and I mean, they were okay. Like, I liked them, but they were really annoying, and like, you could, my hair's like really fine, so you could always see the tapes and things like that. So today I'm going to be trying out keratin bond extensions, so they're like little individual pieces, um, they're kind of like a grain of rice size at the top and then yeah so lots of them like all over your head um but they're meant to look a little bit more natural looking um and you're not supposed to be able to see them as much and like they're a little bit more free moving because it's not like a big chunk of strip of hair um so yeah i'm really excited um i've been like wanting to get them done for like a couple of weeks now so this last couple of weeks has like been so slow because i'm so impatient like i want something i want it now so yeah i'm really excited about this also don't mind me i look like a little bit of a hot mess i went to an event in sydney last night so i didn't get home till like 1 30 this morning so i'm a bit sleepy but yeah that's fine um but yeah it's probably going to be a really long day um it takes like a minimum of four hours for them to put in so yeah i'm gonna be at the hairdressers for a long time but that's okay it's gonna be totally worth it um but yeah i'll probably like talk a little bit more about them after the appointment when i've gotten them done and stuff but i wanted to show you the process because when i was looking to get them done i have watched that many youtube videos on them so if you are thinking about it at least you'll be able to get some more info with watching this um, but yeah, pretty much I just pulled up here. My appointment's in like five minutes, so I best get going. But I did bring like all my lunch and everything like that because I'm trying to eat healthy. And because I was in Sydney last night, um, we left Sydney at like 10.30. So um, I obviously didn't have dinner with me. So I went and got McDonald's for dinner. So that's not ideal. And I didn't go to the gym yesterday either. So also not ideal, but yeah. So today I was like, I'm going to be good. My favorite burger place is right near the salon that I go to, but no, I brought my lunch. I brought, I made like, um, a meal prepped, like it's like a chicken noodle soup sort of thing. Um, so I brought that and then some of these, that looks gross, but they're like, I don't know what they're called, but it's like loving earth chocolate. Um, and it's like, um, they come out with these like Easter eggs for Easter that are like their milk chocolate on the outside and then the inside's like their caramel chocolate. And um, they're really good, but they've got these all the time, like not just at Easter, they're just like a different shape. They're so expensive, like a ridiculous amount, but they're literally so yum. So I was like, I'm going to treat myself and take them to the hairdressers for the long day. But yeah, so... Let's get to it. I'm going to go in now. So yeah, wish me luck and I'll see you guys when I get in there. Okay, so I just got home from the hair salon and I am so ip obsessed. Like, I can't even believe that these are extensions. Like, I don't know if you can see very well, but they literally blend so well with my natural hair. Like, the color is spot on. You can't even tell where my natural hair is. Like, it blends so nicely. You can't see the bonds. 
which I have like really fine hair so I was a bit worried that you would be able to but you literally can't let me show you in the mirror so I kept like majority of the length I'm not sure how long they are but like they go to like my hip bone I guess they're really soft I know they're human hair I'm not sure on the brand but I went to Soma Salon in Newcastle. It's on Derby Street if you're from the area and they literally do my hair so perfectly like they always nail the color. These extensions are amazing. I'm like obsessed. I feel honestly like I'm like that bitch or something. God, you're not going to hear me stop talking about these. I'm not going to be able to shut up about them because I love them so much. But yeah, like you literally can't even see. Like when I had the tapes last time, um, you could see exactly where like my hair ended. Like it was quite blunt, but like you literally can't even tell at all. You can't see anything in the roots. I don't know how to show you this. Let's see. I'm like, you literally can't see anything from where they are. And I took a little, a couple of clips and stuff while I was there. So I'll insert like the footage. You've probably already seen it. Um, of like a little bit of the process and everything like that. But oh my god. If you guys are like on the fence about getting hair extensions. I definitely recommend Keratin Bond hair extensions. They're amazing. Um, I am going to answer a couple of questions that I've gotten on my Instagram about like the keratin bond and like the difference that I've found personally between the tapes and the keratin bond. Um, yeah, just because as I said, like when I was looking at getting them done, I, all I did was watch YouTube videos. So I thought this would be handy for anyone that's considering it or thinking about it. So yeah, I'm going to head to the gym and stuff now, but, um, a little bit later I'm going to film, and like answer some questions and tell you the difference and stuff like that. But I am obsessed. I can't believe. I literally can't believe this is my hair now. <sighs> Love that. Love that for me. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Okay, so it's a couple days later now and I thought I'd do a little hair update. So it's, I got them done on Thursday and it's now Sunday. So it's been, yeah, like three-ish days um, since I had them done. So obviously my hair's starting to get dirty now. So I was like, I'll definitely wash it today at some point. But um, so I went for a swim in the ocean and just to see how it like held up and everything. But as you can see, like you still can't see the bonds peeking through. It's all like pretty much dry now. But um, my hair goes like this naturally sort of crinkly color in the ocean. Um, and the extensions have gone like the same sort of thing. Like as you can see, they're kind of crinkly as well. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, so it still blends really well, which is good because I was a bit worried if um, they'd still blend when they were like crinkly because obviously your natural hair would dry different to the extensions. Um, but when I was like booking it in and like um, they were ordering my color and everything like that, they did ask me if I needed um, like wavy extensions or straight ones like how did my hair naturally dry and I said curly which when I previously got the taping extensions that I told you guys about last time I never got asked that so they obviously dried really different to my natural hair and I'll insert a photo if I can of what the tapes used to look like when I was at the beach and you could see exactly where my natural hair was like they looked awful <laughs> really where these ones you I literally I don't even know where my natural hair is like I don't know where it ends. I don't know anything, but I feel like it blends really well still, which is nice. Um, I didn't find like it was too much hair to swim around with or anything. They don't feel like super knotty. Like obviously they're a bit knotty. They could use a brush, but um, that would obviously make them frizzy. So I'm not going to brush them until I wash them. But yeah, so, so far so good. Um, the beads, not the beads, the, the bonds and everything don't feel tangled or anything like that, which is good. Um... But yeah, I thought I would talk through like so far what I'm finding some pros and like cons, I guess. And like um, a bit of like a comparison to the tape ones and my experience with the tapes. Because I know when I was looking into getting the bonds, I was like really nervous because I didn't have really a great experience with the tapes. So I was kind of hesitant to get extensions of any kind again, just because I thought it would be the same sort of thing. But um Pretty much so far, if you are looking into getting extensions, I would 100% recommend the bonds, especially if you have finer hair like me um, and you're worried about people being able to see like the bonds or like the tape if you got tape ins. Um, so far, I've literally had no one be like, oh my God, do you have like hair extensions or anything like that? Like 
I've been at work and everything and no one's like no customers or anything have even like noticed um which is good but yeah like I feel like they're really seamless I haven't had any poke through like every day when I wake up and my hair's like a bit crazy I like it my boyfriend I'm like can you see any of the bonds like just for him to check to see if um you can see them just so I can like kind of um know if they're peeking through or not but they're not like we haven't been able to see them at all which is amazing because with the tapes like anytime my hair was dirty if i had just woken up if my hair wasn't styled like if i let it naturally dry you could always see them um it could have been the fact of where they were placed um i don't know the hair might not have been as good quality i'm not sure but yeah so so far if you have finer hair definitely the bonds i would go over um it's obviously like a little bit more comfortable as well like the first night when i was sleeping on them like you could feel them digging into your head a little bit but i mean it was fine i'm used to them now so that's totally fine the tapes i don't remember having any issues getting used to them being in my head but i remember the first day my head like ached after getting them in because they must have been pulling so tight to put them in and they were so close to your scalp where with this i didn't have that um they must have been like a bit more careful or gentle or something i'm not sure um so far the hair quality feels better like it feels really soft um it's not like frizzy um yeah like i'll have to like tell over time to see if the hair quality like holds up with the bonds but i know with the tapes like literally after the first time i washed them they never felt the same again like they felt gross where these i've like wet them in the ocean and they still feel like great so i'm quite impressed aftercare with extensions would probably be the same with tape and bonds and all that but pretty much if you are thinking about getting extensions there is a bit of like at home care that you have to do some um they're like they're not high maintenance but they do have a bit of maintenance so like every night before bed you've got to plait them so that they don't get like not knotted and tangled and stuff um which I would probably do with my natural hair anyway to make sure because I'm a bit of a crazy sleeper. So I wake up and it's a bit wild. Um, but yeah, so definitely you have to plait them. Um, I've been told you have to blow dry like the bonds, um, especially as they grow out because if they like dry naturally, they can mat up and you don't want like knots at the root of your hair where the bonds have started to grow out, if that makes sense. Um, you just can't use any like oils and conditions and, and stuff like up near the bonds, which is totally fine because you wouldn't usually put them up there anyway. Um, I have to be careful when brushing it because you don't want to brush in between the bonds and your scalp sort of thing and like rip it out. And you just can't straighten over the bonds, like just like right underneath it um, is fine. But yeah, not over the top because heat puts them in, but heat also can take them out. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. Like it's really not that hard. Um... And yeah, as I said, so far I'm loving them. I feel like they look really natural. Um, they're not like too heavy on my hair. I don't feel like it's too hot. Like it's summer in Australia and I don't feel like they're making me any more hot or anything. I just feel like now I'm like a mermaid at the beach, which is even better. <laughs> exactly what I want. But yeah, so, so far I'm really liking them. Um, I did get some products that I'm going to be using on the extensions. Let me show you. These are the products that I got for the extensions. Um, cause another thing is you've got to use good quality salon products on the extensions. Otherwise they're not going to last. They're not going to look any good. Um, like the silicon and stuff that are in supermarket shampoos and conditioners is so bad for your hair. Um, but yeah, I never use that. I always use salon quality products. Anyway, I've noticed a huge difference in my hair since using salon quality products over um supermarket shampoos and stuff like that so i definitely recommend um getting your hairdresser to recommend you some products from your salon or um even if you could hop online and try these ones out i've used these ones for a little while now and i'm restocking and i love them so the brand is i think it's o&m so this is kind of like what the bottle looks like. They've got a whole, a couple different ranges. So like depending on your hair. This one here is fine intellect. So this one's good for volume, which is perfect for me because I have really thin and fine hair. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. So I've got the shampoo, the conditioner, which is like the same. They actually smell so good. Literally the best smelling shampoo and conditioner and stuff I've ever used. And then also the hair mask. The one that I use is the, the power base one. So it's a protein hair mask. So that one's really good for 
adding the lines back to your hair, I guess, making it really silky soft. I, I have, This is the first hair mask I've actually used that I've ever noticed an actual difference in my hair. Like, you know, with a lot of hair masks, you'll put it in, it feels really soft, you wash it out, um, and then your hair dries and it just feels kind of normal. Well, this one, I'm like, after my hair dries, it feels so silky soft. Like, I can't believe it. It's literally crazy. So, definitely invest in some good products as well. Um... And yeah, like the, probably the biggest thing that I would recommend if you are thinking about getting extensions is to go to a good quality salon. Yeah, going to a good salon is definitely going to ensure you get a way better outcome. Like, as I said, um, the salon I used to go to when I had the tape-ins, um, I feel like that's just what they used. They didn't do any other type of extension, only the tapes. So I guess that's all they really knew. Um, but so far, I'm finding the quality of this is way better. The positioning of them is so much better. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this experience has been a whole lot better than the last one so far. So I'm thinking it definitely has something to do with where you go as well. Um, but yeah, just make sure you go somewhere good because I got a lot of questions asking if extensions damage your hair. And they can, but if they're put in properly and by someone that does a really good job and everything like that, they definitely should not damage your hair. Um, it gets, and if you take care of them, they won't damage your hair either, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, another frequently asked question I got asked is how much they cost. So they are quite pricey. Um, the Keratin Bond ones cost roughly around a thousand dollars and that's for them to be put in and for the hair and everything like that. Um, the process is quite lengthy though. Like, I mean, it can take up like anywhere between like four to six hours. I've heard it took about four, five ish for mine to be put in, um, so obviously it's quite a time consuming process and if you want good quality hair as well, um, you ha I'm happy to pay it. I think it can vary person to person depending on how much natural hair you have, how much extensions you need and like the time and everything like that can vary the price. Um, but yeah, I mean, you probably could get them done cheaper, but in my opinion, I would pay for good quality. Like you get what you pay for. Um, I would rather, so much rather have like a good quality um, product and way better of like have them put in way better and last longer and everything like that um, and obviously look better because if you go somewhere that's charging cheapest chips they don't know what they're doing the placement's going to be off you're going to be able to see them like they're not going to be anywhere near as good as if um, you get somewhere good to do it so yeah that's probably like my biggest piece of advice but yeah um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video it's probably been a bit like here there and everywhere because I know that the first half was like a vlog bit and then this bit's kind of like just chatting answering some questions but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, it like you learn a little bit about hair extensions and like the upkeep and everything like that um, if you have any questions for me about them feel free to leave them down below um, I did answer a couple of questions and stuff over on my Instagram the other day so if you're not following over there then make sure you do I'll put it on the screen and link down below if you want to follow um but yeah pretty much that's it um let me know any video requests down below as well and I will see you guys in the next video bye